Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Lionel here. Um, I'm on a different computer, so the camera may have a slight delay. I don't know. You know, these some of these cameras and these computers are, are, are borderline worthless. Um, anyway, so I do have a first impression video for you guys. Uh, it is from the house of Therry Mugler. And it is a Therry Mugler, however you want to say it. We call it Therry Mugler here in America. Um, it is uh, Pure Shop. Number one, presentation, you have to say gorgeous. I mean, this is the blue star with the little white bottle. Now, I mean, you know, I, I guess Mugler's bottles can be a bit um, polarizing. Some people do not like them. Uh, I absolutely love their presentation. Uh, this one is top notch. It's sort of a glossy white. It's not like that. The other ones are kind of dusty and dry or, you know, dull. Uh, this is a, uh, a polished uh, one. It's white and very, very shiny. The Blue Star. Uh, the Blue Star, here, what Therry Mugler has done is his uh, presentation reflects the fragrance that's in the bottle. And, I, you know, I find that, you know, good, good marketing, uh, very in tune with what he's trying to create. And what he's outputting, um, I, you know, I find it very, very good amongst uh, Therry Mugler's home, house. So anyway, um, pure shot. Let, so unbox it. Um, first thing I do is I put a slight spray on the hand, just a little bit, just to, just to see. Um, and then I went and you know I smelled it. Say okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait a little while. Well, I go and bathe my kids, you know, so my hand is under the water. Um, you know, I got soap and stuff. So I, I finish, I dry them off, put the lotion on them. Um, and so I say, oh, I forgot I sprayed this. You know, so I smelt my hand. I said, huh. A lot of people who talked about it never talked about this, this specific quality that I got from it. Um, or vibe that I got from it. So I went ahead and put on five sprays. I went, you know, one, two, uh, three four and one on the wrist so I went with five sprays um, and then I left and got in the car I didn't smell it again I went so I uh, I dance on a Friday night so Friday nights I kind of do a formal sort of intimate dancing type thing um, sort of a you know a ballroom mixed with some hip-hop mixed with some you know R&B sort of a you know a unique little dance thing that um, I picked up about a year ago um, so I thought you know what, what's more appropriate I mean a lot of a lot of time you know I can't wear Duro, Afghano, or those types of things to that stuff. So, you know, a lot of my stuff is either, you know, very sweet. If it's heavy, it's sweeter or, uh, you know, a bit on the fresh side. Um, you know, something along those lines. I mean, some, I, I, not, I, don't, I, I try to avoid the spicy orientals just because it, it, my skin heats up a lot. I mean, I'm drenched by the end of the day. Um, you know, you're very intimate. Some of the stuff is close here or, or here. So, anyway. Um, so I thought, I mean, given the description, I said, man, you know what, this would be perfect. You know, it was about 63 degrees, 64 degrees yesterday here uh, at night. Um, so I thought, why not, it's very appropriate. So anyway, I go get in the car, um, and when I get in the car, immediately this blast of icy, frigid freshness slapped me in the face. I mean, like, bah, like, just slapped me with both hands in the face. I said, wow, okay. Immediately, it brought a smile to my face. I said, "Oh, I think there, I, 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 Mugler's done it again. Like Mugler has released another one, and I'm going to be impressed with this one." So, um, you know, immediately as I'm pulling out the driveway, I call my man Mel and I tell him, "This one's special, bro." And uh, he's like, "Oh man, are you serious? Yeah, yeah." We go back and forth. So he's asking me, "Well, what is it like?" So I'm coming up with description. And I said, man, it reminds me of something. What is it? What is it? I get about a mile away from the house and it hits me. Bam. You know, now I'm about 20 minutes into the fragrance. It takes me about 30 minutes to get there. I'm about 20 minutes to the fragrance. And immediately I said, man, this smells like um, you took Creed's Royal Water and you took Creed's Himalaya and you infused them at the at their brightest points, at their, at their most potent points. You infused them. And they had a baby, an offspring, and it was this. Uh, so, let me explain. If you've never smelled raw water, raw water is this icy mint. 
sort of fragrance. Very, uh, you know, I think Kenneth said it's very, very mature, and it is. It is a mature or mint. This is a mature fragrance. More mature than the other offerings of Muglet um, that I can think of. Um, now, I haven't really experienced, I, I smelled Iceman once, I think. Um, I have a sample of Sun Essence, and I'll let you know later when I do the review how they compare to one another. Because I think a lot of people are saying that. Um, sort of like, I mean, I, I don't really remember a lot about Iceman. I wasn't impressed with it, and that's why I'm impressed with this. I, so, anyway, let me get into it. Here's something I'm not getting a lot of, or I haven't I haven't seen in, in, in writing. I haven't watched any of the, the the first impression videos just because I want to get my own perspective first, get it out there, then I'll go compare notes. Um, it is so you see the blue star. There's a blue soap. I don't know if it's Coast or Zest. I can't remember which one it is, but it it sort of has a soapy quality like that. Himalaya is very soapy to me, sort of a soapy metallic type of which color. The soapy, m sort of metallic vibe is in this. Then the very in-your-face icy mint is in this. So take a soapiness, blue soapiness, take an icy mint, infuse them, and you have this. However, there's one twist. The there's patchouli in this that's not in the others. So, um... The patchouli is giving it this this depth that the other aquatics just I mean the other fresh fragrances really don't have. Um, not only that, it's also really spicy. Not it's pepper, but the pepper isn't there. You don't smell like you know the black pepper, bang type pepper. It's a fresh pepper. Almost vetiverish type of of, of scent. Um, um, it's it's so here, here you spray it immediately. You're gonna get the mint immediately. Eric, fresh mint. Juniper berry is gonna give it just a tad bit of sweetness. Something in it is giving it this. So maybe it's the juniper berry is soapy. Maybe juniper berry is soapy. I don't know. I need to look at Himalaya's note breakdown. Anyway, but it's soapy. So it's mint, arid, freezing, cold mint. I mean, it's like a cooling mint with some a soapy quality and patchouli. That's what you get. The patchouli pepper is giving it the spiciness. The, the, uh, uh. The patchouli is giving it some depth. The pepper is giving it some spiciness. You know, mint itself is sort of spicy. So, it, it, it could a lot of the spice could be coming from the mint. You know, fresh mint leaves. And then, it's, there's this soapy quality to it. I mean, and it comes off very bright, vibrant. Very in your face. Um, very lovely. So, here's the problem. I think some of you young guys may find this a bit mature. I, I don't know for sure. I don't know what anybody else is saying, but to me, you may find it a bit mature, um, number one. Number two, it is fresh and deep without being aquatic. So, you, the three notes I'm telling you, mint, pepper, patchouli, and there's this soapiness that's just, oh, ain't like, you know, the soapiness is sort of like the, the, the ball around it, you know what I'm saying? Sort of like, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's sort of like the glue, quarter, like with, with the rose fragrance is in, in rose 31, the soapy quality is to this. Um, it's going to go throughout. So, um, overall, what do I think? I will give this 5 out of 5. I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy another bottle today. Um, I live in Texas. It is hot from the end of middle of April until October. It is it's hot. I mean, it's burning up from June to August. I mean, it's, you know, you last last year, I think we had a 100 degree average for almost two months. This scent is perfect when you don't, it, it's perfect when you don't want something uh, uh, run-of-the-mill fresh. 
the reason I say it's, it, 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 so here's what I think. If I'm, if I'm going out to the park with my children, I do not wear this fragrance in, in Texas heat. I, I think it would be unbearable. However, if you live in the Midwest, you're in Canada, you're, on the, you're, you're, you're in the Northwest, you know, I'm talking about Washington, you know, North, Northern California, you're in the East Coast, Jersey, Boston, this fragrance is freaking perfect. I mean, I'm talking about perfect. Germany, you know, like if it's, you know, a little cloudy and, and you know, it's, it's 82 and it's windy and that's the high, it's going to be like 69 at night. This fragrance is perfect for that environment. Texas heat, for us Texans, Dead heat, sun hitting this, I think it will become cloying. I think it will become cloying if the sun at 100 degrees hits this. Um, but at night, this is going to be sexy for us Texans. Uh, you're in the south, you're in Louisiana, you're in Texas, you're in Florida. Perfect summer night scent. This is going to be our, this is, when you want something fresh in the winter, this is going to be it. You do not have to spend hundreds of dollars on Himalaya, hundreds of dollars on royal water. All you need is this fragrance, and this will take care of both of those. Um, like if you're looking at ice cap mountains, that's this scent, right? Like you're, 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 it's, it's, it's warm below, you know, it's 80 degrees, 82 degrees, and you can look up and you can see the ice cap mountains. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It's so, like, per, like I, I think it would be perfect if you're going on an interview, two spray, one spray the front of the neck, one spray the back of the neck, maybe, maybe just one spray. Wonderful, because it's clean, sort of soapy, but it's minty and deep it's mature so the only thing I think is it's maybe a bit mature for the average uh, 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 you know Mugler where the pure mark guys the pure mark guys may not find this one appealing uh, from that perspective but if you want something deep complex fresh not aquatic just gorgeous geranium poor monsieur type like uh, now I won't have to buy geranium poor monsieur because I have this fragrance it's roaster, not as sweet. It's raw water, not as mature. It's Himalaya with more mint. Absolute love for me. I'm over in about 12 minutes. Gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I, I don't know what else to say, but it's definitely, just like when I was so impressed with Pure Mart, when I first bought it blonde, I didn't buy by Havon because I got the smell of that Nordstrom's. This is a blonde buy and one of my best. I promise you. Us Texas guys, this is going to be our summer night scent. Uh, love it. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think.